Welcome back to the PP Zone. This is your host, Mike. Today I'll talk about the best bear defense handguns of 2023. Never think that a handgun is the only thing that you can use against a charging bear. Even the massive 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum out of the X-Frame Revolver's 3 and 3 8 inch barrel only has around 60% of the 375 Ruger's muzzle energy out of a 23 inch rifle barrel. Just the same. For your personal defense, any handgun is better than none. In cases where a potentially dangerous encounter is even a remote possibility, a large rifle or even a slug gun can be a lifesaver. And if you can carry it and shoot it well, a handgun is a terrific tool to repel bear attacks anytime. That said, your handgun works if it stops the attack, and whatever your handgun is, it's better than having none in your hand. Most people who haven't seen a bear assume that for a handgun to be successful in their defense, the bear should be felled dead, which is half true. Just remember, any bear encounter where you come out unharmed is a victory, whether the bear dies or runs away. In a heated situation, you may need to shoot and hit the bear more than once, which is why you need a capable bear defense handgun and tons of shooting practice to make sure your ammo counts. Here are seven of the best handguns for self-defense against bears. Number 7. Colt Python 3-inch Although semi-autos are very popular and appear to be the best bear defense handguns, revolvers are still used in the field by a lot of gun owners, and many people still consider them the only reliable weapon choice. Although not that big by Magnum revolver standards, the 357 Magnum has long been used in bear country as a defense cartridge. With heavy hardcast loads, it penetrates deep and is comparable to the 10mm auto. There are many great options for 357 Magnum revolvers, but a truly great pick would be the Colt Python in either 3-inch or 4-inch configuration. Not only does this six-shooter look handsome, it also performs meeting great expectations. Newer Colt Python models are built as close to the original design as possible, with some mass added to the upper rear portion of the frame for greater strength. On the new Colt Python 3-inch, the fit is really tight, and its mechanical operation is very smooth. There is a little loss in velocity on the 3-inch barrel model, but the convenience of an easy carry more than offsets that loss. It is very comfortable holstered at the chest and is quite controllable while shooting this double-action wheel gun. Number 6. Springfield XDM Elite 3.8-inch Compact OSP The popularity of the 10mm auto has spawned a diversity of new handguns. One of the most versatile 10mm pistols is the XDM Elite 3.8-inch Compact OSP, or simply the XDM. It's a compact 10mm pistol with a 3.8-inch barrel and a removable magwell. It ships with 11-round magazines, but is also compatible with Springfield's sleeve 15-round magazine to match the capacity of the G20. It's nearly identical in size to the Glock's compact 10mm, the G29. However, the Springfield is much easier to shoot. An optics cut and a removable plate are standard, but also available in Springfield's Hex Dragonfly Red Dot Sight. Removing the magwell improves the grip somewhat. Even with full house 10mm loads, it is quite controllable. Number 5. Smith & Wesson Model 629 For a really big defense handguns against bears, the Smith & Wesson 629 is the one to beat. Many acknowledge and praise this 44 Magnum revolver as a real bear neutralizer, if not terminator, and it undeniably has plenty of power. That said, always keep in mind that it is not a long rifle. An excellent revolver, the 629 stainless steel construction is designed to withstand the elements typical of a bear's habitat. The overall length of the 4-inch and 5-inch variants, which are 9.5 and 10.5 inches respectively, is an ideal compromise between barrel length and balance for a 44 caliber revolver. It can accommodate 6 rounds of 44 Magnum or 44 Special cartridges and is a reasonably comfortable revolver to carry and shoot. Its hard recoil is easily tolerable and is suitable for weather conditions including water and mud thanks to the rubberized grip. With adequate and hard practice, the heavier 44 Magnum cartridge can give you an edge in penetration over less powerful ammo like the 10mm, but never forget you only have 6 rounds in the cylinder, so make sure each shot counts. The 4-inch model 629 weighs about 4 pounds loaded, thus you will need a comfortable way to carry it, like having a reliably snug holster which will allow you easy accessibility to your weapon. 
Although the Model 329 PD is much lighter and an excellent revolver as well, the recoil is kind of wild, and there will be some more pressure trying to reacquire aim at a target on subsequent shots. Still, the Model 629 is a good balance between ease of carry and recoil controllability. Number 4. Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan this Ruger's extended frame provides extra metal on the top strap, sidewalls, and barrel mounting areas to handle powerful big game loads. To withstand heavy recoil, the Super Red Hawk Alaskan triple locking cylinder is locked into the frame at the front, rear, and bottom so it stays aligned without loosening over time. The angle of the Super Red Hawk's peg style grip frame and the recoil cushioning Hogue Tamer mono grip greatly absorb recoil and allow the shooter to stay close on the target for subsequent shots while firing the revolver in double action mode. The Ruger Red Hawk's smooth double action trigger pull provides a crisp and clean single action break. Although there are a few bigger revolver cartridges out there, the 454 Casul is a good top end choice for a bare defense handgun. With almost no exception, anything heftier becomes just a novelty. The 454 Casul is hard enough to shoot well, if at all, and even the bigger cartridges still don't match the level of a rifle. As with the 44 Magnum 44 Special, you can practice with 45 cold cartridges and save the costlier ammo for the real defense situations. Keep in mind that with a powerful recoil, you can lose hold of it if you don't grip it firmly enough. There may be a significant loss in velocity as a good portion of your powder is blown out the end of its short 2.5 inch barrel, but the ease of carrying this revolver offsets that small disadvantage. However powerful your handgun is won't matter if you don't have it with you when you need it, that is, when confronting a pissed off bear. Thankfully, the Super Red Hawk Alaskan is one of the most carry friendly big bore revolvers. You won't have to avoid bringing it on you. Its rubbery grip makes it tolerable to shoot too. Number 3. Sig Sauer P320X10 You can always use a variety when it comes to bare defense handguns and Sig Sauer's new P320X10 is a great addition to the 10mm handguns market. Mostly featuring 9mm models, the P320 has become Sig's big winner. This is partly because of its versatility, and the X10 upsizes P320 traits that many shooters love. The X10 has the same 15 plus 1 round capacity that most popular 10mm bare defense pistols have and then some. The X10 comes with two 15 round steel magazines. Although its polymer frame is slightly larger than other 9mm X frames, it features the same comfortable ergonomics and grip texture. It has a flat trigger shoe which acts as a trigger safety. Mounting a light on your bare defense handgun is a huge advantage, and the X10 has a lengthy 5 slot accessory rail. The 5 inch barrel enables a boost in velocity while the sight radius is longer than most other polymer frame 10 millimeters. Number 2. Glock G20 There will always be two kinds of anti-bear defense guns, the big bore revolvers and easy carry semi-autos. The Glock G20 is a good example of a semi-auto which has become the most popular carry pistol for hiking. Most people consider a 44 Magnum revolver the minimum defense handgun against a bear, but the 10mm G20 has proven itself capable of stopping a bear attack. Like other Glock models, the G20's beauty is its simplicity. It's a polymer-framed 15 plus 1 round capacity semi-automatic pistol. It features a 4.61 inch barrel, is easy to shoot, and runs with utter reliability. In any new Glock G20, you can safely fire factory ammo like Buffalo Bore, Underwood, and other brands. Glock's barrels accumulate lead fouling with hard cast ammo, which doesn't happen with copper jacketed rounds. Number 1. Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 The M&P 2.0 is the 10mm addition to the Smith & Wesson M&P line and welcomed by M&P patrons looking for a bare defense handgun. Built on the M&P 2.0 45ACP frame, the M&P 2.0 10mm has excellent full grip texture and ergonomics, 15 plus 1 round capacity and a 4 inch barrel. It also features an ambidextrous slide stop and a reversible magazine catch button making it easy for either hand. The M&P 2.0 comes optics ready and includes several mounting adapter plates. Accurate and reliable, it has probably the best grip contour and texture of any factory polymer 10mm. Standard interchangeable M&P grip modules for a thinner or fatter grip are included. Sweaty hands are no problem as the stippling texture doesn't slip easily. The M&P 2.0 10mm has a snappy recoil but the comfortable grip makes it manageable. 
With adequate training and familiarity, carrying and shooting the M&P 2.0 is a great option for trekking the backcountry. In closing, no single bear defense handgun can have greater stopping power than a long rifle's firepower. There will always be unfactorable and dynamic variables whenever you experience a bear attack. But what is an absolute certainty is, in order to survive a bear assault, you should always be carrying your weapon, be it a rifle or a handgun, and be able to draw and shoot it easily, swiftly, and most importantly, accurately. So train with your weapon as much as you're able to, because you can never tell when your life will depend on it. And that's it for our video today. If you feel you can add to our list of bear defense handguns, please comment below. Please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.